A lot of people want to view the world as Star Trek does, an optimistic, non-judgmental view, believing that it's not what's on the outside of people, whether it's snake people or lizard people or fish people, it's what's on the inside that matters. Now, to remind us of that, the spirit and humanity that Gene Roddenberry and Rick Berman gave us in the Star Trek universe, here is Jennifer Larmore. The... Look, uh, I'm really sorry. Will you please tell Her Majesty no autographs? I don't care how much the Corgis love the show. Forget it. 
I'm really sorry. If the fictional technology of the 24th century were really available today, then I would be a roistering, rambunctious part of tonight's celebrations. Instead, a bit of pre-recorded tape being queued up in a control room by some producer. But you see, for the past 10 years, I've had two families. One genetic here in England, and the other one celebrating there at Paramount. And this weekend, my family of more than 50 years must take precedence over my new family of only 10 years. And I am so sad not to be with you all tonight. But congratulations to all of us. And here's to the next 30 years. Yeah, I think I can get by without using the walking frame in this next shot. Tonight, you've traveled through the galaxies that grew out of the fertile imagination of Gene Roddenberry and the other creators of Star Trek. But also, during these three decades, we have seen an era of scientific advancement that's been unmatched in human history. And if you think of the parallel adventures that have occurred in the real world of science and aeronautics and that grew out of the realm of the imagination. Not far from this spot, a poet once wrote of the human aspiration that compels some men and women to write stories and others to fly away from Earth's gravity. More than a hundred years ago, Robert Browning wrote, if our reach does not exceed our grasp, then what is heaven for? Someone once told me that time was a predator that stalked us all our lives. But I rather believe that time is a companion who goes with us on the journey, reminds us to cherish every moment, because it'll never come again. What we leave behind is not as important as how we've lived. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. 